Hi 706, can't believe we're here. Um, this is my final goodbye to you wrapping up our year video. And it's, you know, think of it as what I would have said on the last day of school. So I'm very um, sentimental. I like a kind of full circle thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to start where we started with my first day of school Google Slides presentation um, with some of the things I said then and I just want to reflect on them now. So on the first day of school I talked about my philosophy of education which is how I think about education and it informs why I'm a teacher. Okay, So to begin I started with this Michelle Obama quote uh, which was empower yourselves with a good education and then get out there and use that education to build a country worthy of your boundless promise. Um, of course, this is still one of my favorite quotes ever. As a reminder, it means that the way I think about education, right, is that you should and you can empower yourselves, meaning give yourself power with a good education and then use that power to make the country a better place, a country that's worthy of you. Um, and I, I still feel that very strongly today. Um, similarly, we have Nelson Mandela's quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. And then a quote by Pablo Freire. Um, I'll read in Spanish, so those of you who can speak Spanish can get a kick out of my inability to speak Spanish. Uh, la educación no cambia el mundo, cambia a las personas que van a cambiar, cambiar el mundo. Okay, education does not change the world, it changes the people who change the world. Um, and as I wrote, education gives people power, and I believe you will use that power to make the world more just. Uh, more just and more fair. So, I just don't think there's a time more more relevant than right now um, to be reflecting on this philosophy of education I hold and how I think about education. We're in quite a time in the world at the moment and we are seeing pretty significant change. We're seeing protests and riots and uprisings um, following the murder of George Floyd um, and also Breonna Taylor and Ahmaud Arbery. Um, Really, but not just, of course, them, we're seeing an uprising responding to the police brutality and systemic racism that we have in the United States. And it's been scary, um, but right now, and it's okay if you're not feeling this way now or if you never do, I'm starting to feel fairly inspired by it. Um, I, you know, I have a, a different social media following than I'm sure most of you do. Um, since I'm older than you and from a, from a different place. Um, I have college friends, I have high school friends, um, elementary school friends, my parents' friends on Facebook and Instagram who are seeming to care um, about police brutality, um, about Black Lives Matter in a way I've never seen before. Um, I've seen some who have seemed to always care, but it's been a significant upturn. Um, see if you look at lots of book websites, um, books by African-American authors um, about race, they're off the charts in the past week. So I think this is, this is a time where I see change might come. Um, and at least something of this is progress. Now, doesn't mean we should have to go through this. It definitely doesn't mean you should have to go through this. But I feel like this is a time where I'm seeing um, that people are becoming aware, people are becoming educated, um, and people are using the education they have, um, and not you know not just the education, but some people are using the education to plan protests, to um, be impacting their offices, their workspaces. Um, to try to make a better world. And I really, really believe that you will do that. Um, also, just worth mentioning, of course, this is also the time of coronavirus, right? Why we're not together right now. 
Yeah, and I won't try to comfort that or that loss. Um, but I, we, I see opportunities for a more just world, um, a more just healthcare system. So much, so much better that can happen. Um, and some people starting to see that in a new way. So I hope that you're seeing that um, and you continue to think about the ways that education does give people power. Both kind of structurally, the systems we live in, having a, an education like a traditional school education gives people power in the world, gives people money. Um, but then there's also the education that you can get from reading, from researching, from YouTube videos, from just being engaged and interested in the world that gives people power to make the world a better place. And after knowing you all for the past year, I feel without a doubt um, that you will use that power to make the world a better place and make it more just. So I hope to see you do that. Um, and I know you can. Okay, and then the other thing I want to reflect on was my commitments to you. Um, I had you look at your Dear Math letters, think about what you said about math in the beginning of the year, and then reflecting about how you feel now. So this is, to some degree, think about it that way, um, for me, but with teaching. So I told you that I will hold you to high academic expectations because I know you can accomplish them um, and because the world needs you. I do believe that's something um, I've done to the best that I can and done fairly well is try to hold you to high, high academic expectations. Um, that's looked differently um, given coronavirus, given what's going on. We need to have reasonable high expectations. Um, but I hope you think that, and I do feel that I have done that. Um, and I would say my encouragement for you all to continue trying to learn this summer is built on that idea that I do believe you can achieve a lot. Um, and I want you to achieve a lot and learn a lot and know a lot because I think the world, the world needs you. And I know you can do all those things. Okay, um, for my second one, I will treat you with kindness and respect. And if you ever think I'm not, um, please respectfully tell me and I will take responsibility for it. So I don't think in every moment of this year I have treated all my students with kindness and respect. I can think of moments um, where I let my emotions and my frustration get the best of me. There was a lot this year that I wasn't necessarily prepared for, um, largely, frankly, with the kind of like disrespect and lack of kindness that people treated me with. Um, but my core belief that I told you then and I still believe is that that doesn't matter, um, that it's, it's no good happens from being rude back to someone who's rude to you. Um, I do think that when I have crossed that line, um, I have taken responsibility for it, but you might feel like there are moments when I have it, and I just want to tell you now, if that was the case, I do apologize. Um, I did the best I could this year, and I do respect all of you, and I try to and hope to continue to try to treat you with the kindness and respect that you deserve. Okay, my third one. I am not cool. I was never cool. I will embarrass myself for your entertainment and more so so you might feel comfortable to go outside of your comfort zone and take risks in this classroom and outside of it. Uh, well, I can definitely still say I'm not cool. That didn't change. Um, and I do feel like that's something I've lived up to. To me, this was a lot talking about the song of the week which I'm excited to hear your, your feedback about in, my, in the end of the year survey. I think it's important in seventh grade, it just, which is a very hard year, period. If it wasn't for you, fantastic. But generally, that's a very hard year for people. Um, there's so much social pressure. You're trying to figure out who you are. And it's so, so easy to feel like you need to conform and be something um, that you might not be. And... I hope to model for you that, you know, it's okay to be yourself, it's okay to be silly, it's okay to be bad at things and still do them anyway if they make you happy. Um, and, you know, to be able to put up with, with a little bit of cr criticism. Um, 
when you're being yourself. And I hope, you know, I hope to the best I, can, best I could you saw that for me this year. Um, I had a good time in the process, but I hope you remember that lesson as you have a lot of more years of your life until it becomes a lot easier to stop caring what people think. So as you continue to do that, I hope with the best you can, you try to remember that you're fantastic people just as you are and the world deserves exactly who you are. And lastly, um, I will be far from perfect, but I will try my best to be the teacher you deserve. And trust me, I know it was far from perfect this year. Um, I, you know, can think of lots of bad moments, lots of bad days. Um, but I absolutely tried my best to be the best teacher for you all every day. And I hope you saw that. Um, I hope you saw me never really giving up, even for hard times. Um, and I hope you saw, see me learn and grow as I saw you learn and grow this year. This was my first year teaching um, in like a full all by myself sense. And you all eventually knew that, I would say. Um, but yeah, there's there's nothing I, in many ways, I could do about a lot of the mistakes I think I made when I look back on it. There's a lot of things I would have done differently, but there's a lot of things I know that I didn't know how to do differently at the time. Um, and I think that's okay to admit. I think it's important for me to be honest with you and to be honest with myself that I had a lot to learn this year, and I think I learned a lot. Um, I think at the end of the day, you still learned a lot too. Um, I think you learned a lot of math and I think you, you learned a lot of other stuff. So I have a lot of growth that I look forward to doing. I'm sorry you got me at this stage in my life, um, but I'm so thankful you were part of it. Even, even when we had some bad moments together, I'm thankful so much for the year. And I'm thankful for you. So without further ado, let me just tell you a little bit about the wonderful people that you are um, that I've had the pleasure of getting to know this year. So 706, in alphabetical order by last name. Bryce, it was a joy teaching you. You are resilient, funny, and very good at math. And I'm really thankful that I had you in my class this year. Alyssa, you are so determined, hardworking, and incredibly kind. You've made so much growth this year, and I am so thankful you were in my class. Amaryllis, more than anything, you have such a deeply held commitment to stand up for what's right and for people who need help. Um, that's such a fantastic gift, and I am so thankful you were in my class this year. Karen, you're friendly, hardworking, have such a positive attitude. I am so thankful you were in my class this year. Evangeline, you are very talented and incredibly witty, even when I didn't want you to be. I'm very thankful I had you in my class this year. Michael, you're level-headed, a very good friend, and dedicated to your work. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Joss Marie, you're honest, reasonable, and very mature. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Carlos D, you're kind, a very good friend, and you work very hard. I'm so glad you were in my class this year. Anaya, you're strong, wise, have a very good understanding of the world, and very witty. I'm very glad you were in my class this year. Rukweeb, you're very good at math. You're welcoming and inclusive and a very good friend to people. I'm very glad I had you in my class this year. London, you can pick up a concept so quickly. You're very clever and you can be incredibly empathetic. I'm so thankful that you were in my class this year. Trent, you're inclusive, kind, and again, very good at math. Um, it was so great. I'm so glad you joined my class. And it was so great having you in my class this year. Aldo, you have big goals for yourself 
and I have absolutely no doubt that you'll achieve them and you have everything you need, work ethic, and natural skills to achieve them. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Samantha, you are witty and you can pick up a concept so quickly and I've seen that. I'm very thankful you joined our class and to have you in our class this year. Katie, you are incredibly loyal. You can take responsibility for your actions in a way that's very unique at your age and you're very, very kind. I'm so thankful I had you in my class this year. Shaim, you have a heart of gold. You bring everyone in and you're a natural leader. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Morgan, you're dedicated, kind, and very mature and wise. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Savannah, you are wise beyond your years, incredibly caring, and very motivated. It'll take you far. I'm so glad you were in my class this year. Jovi, you're kind. You take responsibility for your actions, and you're a very good brother. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Marcus, you're very funny, and you have a strong desire for justice, which is a beautiful thing. I'm very thankful you were in my class this year. Joseph, you have a good heart, and you're a very good friend, and you've worked very hard in the past few months. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Aiden, you're a hard worker, and you're very funny, and I'm so glad you joined our class. L, you're strong, funny, and have shown me significant, huge growth this year. I'm so glad you were in my class. Carlos, you're good-hearted, always respectful and kind, and very silly, which is a quality I love. I'm so thankful you were in my class this year. Dante, you're very funny. Your sense of humor is very funny, and you have incredible mental math skills. I'm so glad you were a part of this class this year. Daniel, you're incredibly determined, very kind, and really just crushed it this year in my class. I'm so grateful you were in my class this year. Yahaila, you're mature, responsible, very strong and loyal. I am so thankful that you were in my class this year. And finally, Jaleel, you're a really good friend to people and you have a really good heart. And I'm really glad you were in my class this year. Thank you, 706, for a fantastic year together. You will always be my first class of students my first homeroom, my first first period, and I will not forget you. Thank you for a great year. Make sure you come upstairs next year every once in a while when you're supposed to be upstairs um, and come say hi to me. Okay, I'm sorry we didn't get the proper ending that I wish we had. Sometimes life has other plans, but I'm excited to see you again next year, and I'm thankful from the bottom of my heart to have gotten to know you all and teach you all this year. Love you all. Hope you can have a good summer.